This video will be the start of about four sub-videos where we're going to talk about the admin screen tables. You can get to that by going and clicking the tables button on the main screen. You can see that there's about nine different tables that this program can launch. In this video, we're going to talk about four of them, and subsequent videos will handle the other five. The four that we're going to talk about are all in a spreadsheet format. These screens were built using a utility that Microsoft provides that's not very flexible. By that I mean you can't tab from field to field. You actually have to click in each field in order to do anything. As an example of that, Let's look at the salesman table. If I click that button, you get this spreadsheet-like green pop-up. And in this case, it only has four columns with about 10 rows. This particular table lists all the salesmen for this dealership that you now have or have had. Joe Baloney here, with a zero in the active status, says he's no longer part of the dealership. The ones are the salesmen that are active, and the two is the big honcho, the manager, the, the capo di tutti capo of this dealership. This is needed by certain reports. If you're going to change something, let's just say that Jim here has disappeared. I'm going to click that row, and then over here I'm going to change that from one to a zero. And then to update it, it's a two-step process. You click the edit button, followed by the update button. Not quite sure why they did it that way, but that's the way it is. If you're going to add something, if you're only gonna add one person, you just simply click here. You don't have to put in the sales ID. The system will do that for you. Put in their first name here, their last name here, and a one indicating that they are now a member of the group. You'll see that the ID appeared automatically. You don't want to delete any of these people. You only want to inactivate them. So I don't give you a delete button in this form. The process is the same for the warranties. You can see that there are a few more columns. We have the ID, the company, whether it's active or not. Zero means it's not active. A associated form number with this particular warranty a type which isn't really used and a cost which really isn't used. The gap is similar. There is a gap ID, a gap name, a one or a zero for active and an associated form. In this case you do have to fill out the ID. I made a mistake when I created this form and I've been too lazy to go and fix it. The admin reports is it's a way for you to show or not show the various reports that are available. I give you all of the reports that I have available, and I tell everybody that after a month or two, they ought to go through the reports and see which ones they need and get rid of all the rest. So far as I know, nobody's ever done that. To get rid of it, you simply make the active thing zero. If you don't like the name, you can put in an alias name, and that's what will show up. The sequence number I don't think is used. The other five forms are each going to have their own videos. They were not written with the utility that Microsoft provided. I wrote them with code, and they are much more complex, so they each need a way to be described individually. So the next video in this series will be on the car forms.